This is a quick tutorial on how to make a small spreadsheet using ES Quotes in Microsoft Excel. First of all, we're going to open up the ES Quotes Manager, which is this program right here. We can look at the Settings tab. Here we have the Auto Quote feature, which is going to let me decide how, what frequency the quotes are going to be updated. Right here we have every one minute. The more often it's updated, the slower your computer is going to run. But if I made a change, I can apply that change right there. If we look at the data tab, we need to make sure that we have real-time U.S. stocks and we have checked whatever value that we want. Then we can go to the examples tab and I can just start using their blank spreadsheet. But I don't want to save it to the blank one. I can save it when I'm done. To keep the spreadsheet organized, I'm going to go ahead and set up my columns now. My first column will just be the name. The second column is going to be the ticker symbol. The, thir the third column is going to be the price. And the fourth is going to be the volume. Probably the most complicated part here is setting up the symbol, which has to be set up very specifically. But there's documentation on the ES Quotes website. But it's going to be ESQ symbols and we're just going to set a range for how many ticker symbols we're going to have in total. We can always change this. I'm only going to use five for this example, so I can go ahead and overshoot it that way. I don't have to go back. So we're going to start with B2 because that's where the first symbol is going to go. Use a colon to specify it's going to be a range. and I'm just going to put B100 because I know I'm not going to go up to 100, so it doesn't matter anyway. And this is what the title is going to be at the top. and then we're just going to close it off with a closed parenthesis. Press enter. Okay, I'm just going to put in five stocks and it needs to be capitalized. Otherwise, it won't read it right. So I'm just going to have Google, Yahoo, Microsoft, IBM, and Apple, all in caps. And we'll just start off by making one row that's all Google. And then we'll just copy our formulas. So for the name, it's just ESQ name. And then inside the parentheses, we're going to put B2 because that's where we're referencing the ticker symbol. If you want to drag this over, you can just drag it from up top here so we can see what's going to be in that name column. Right now it's not finding it, so I can click on that one right there and press F9 if I want to make sure that it's finding it. It found it. It's Google. If I didn't want to press F9, I could always wait that one minute that it takes for the auto quote frequency to happen. But I just want to make sure it works, so you can use F9 to update it. For the price, it's going to be ESQ price and we're going to just keep using this B2 which is Google here. So we have the price, we're going to have the volume, ESQ volume, again B2, press enter, there we have that. Now instead of doing that for every one I'm just going to fill these in. For this one what we can do is click on this Google one because we know that that has the correct formula and we're going to go over the bottom right corner of this highlighted box, which is that little black box right here. And the cursor should turn into a solid black cross. We're just going to hold down and drag that down. And it's going to fill in the rest of those values using the right formula. Another way we can do this is instead of dragging it down, I can just click in the middle and hold down my mouse button after I click in the middle of the first of the top one, drag it down to the bottom where I want to stop, let go, and I can use Control D on the keyboard. And that's just going to fill down. If I want to make sure that they're going to update right, I can press F9. And it's updated. One more time, I'm just going to go to the middle of the top box here that has the correct value already, hold down my mouse button, go to the bottom, let go of the mouse, 
and press Control D on the keyboard and that's going to fill that formula down. I can press F9 just to update that. I'll drag this over so we can see all these values. Okay, another problem is when we're scrolling up and down in this we might lose these column titles like that right there. If I want to freeze these I'm going to click on the second row to highlight that whole second row. I'm going to go into window up here and click on freeze panes. Now if I just click off here you'll notice that there's a line now under these column titles. So if I scroll down wherever I want on the spreadsheet I'm still going to see what exactly these columns are. And that's how we make a real quick basic spreadsheet using ES quotes in Microsoft Excel.